All right, so something to chew on as you start thinking about your Thanksgiving feasts. November just isn't about turkeys and gratitude anymore. No, it's about heat. And I'm not talking about what's happening in your oven. See, since 1970, November temperatures have risen in 92% of U.S. cities analyzed. A turkey trot of warming 2.4 degrees on average above what it was just a couple decades ago. And in some cities, even warmer than that. Here, head over the river and through the woods with me because we should talk about things like how this warming is impacting your holiday meal. Climate change is already overcooking our favorite Thanksgiving sides. For example, warmer springs mean cranberries bud earlier, making them vulnerable to frost damage. And hotter summers cause cranberry scald, basically sunburned cranberries. And see, when yields drop, that means the price of food goes up for you. There's some recent research that found that just a 1.8 degree warming above the normal in a month's time can drive food inflation for as much as a year for the crop that's being impacted. And by 2035, we're looking at a food inflation rate between 1.4 and 1.8 percentage points per year in North America. We've already seen it happen. California vegetables spiked 80% after a big drought in 2022. I should say, I'm not here to spoil anyone's stuffing. Thanksgiving is about gratitude and family and connection and friends but it's also a moment to appreciate what's on our plates and to recognize that climate change is literally changing the recipe. If you want to dive into the data, like it's a big bowl of mashed potatoes, all the details are up right now at climatecentral.org.